being 25 feet long, I cut it into half inch which makes 13 pieces. That means this coil will make approximately 7,800 gas checks with uh, some waste. We can actually cut three quarter inch pieces and then go down each side, but you're a lot more likely to cut your fingers. So I'd recommend going with the half inch. I use a paper cutter to cut it with. Go ahead and make some gas checks in a second here. This is the free checks too. First we have our punch assembly and then we have our forming die which fits inside of there. What we have right here is a one ton $49 Harbor Freight Arbor Press and on the uh, Arbor Press's plate I've gone ahead and uh, bolted on a $5 or probably $7 or $8 uh, uh, steering wheel remover with a little piece of uh, sheet metal to kind of uh, form a spot for the uh, free checks to fit into to kind of center it up so that the uh, gas checks have a place to fall down on. I also made a little aluminum tray out of the same material we formed the gas checks out of to collect the gas checks as they fall through. So let's take a piece of our half inch of a uh, half inch aluminum strips here and make a few gas checks. It actually takes me a strip or two to kind of get into the swing of things normally but we'll uh, we'll give her a try and see how we can do. One gas check. gas checks. Three gas checks. Four gas checks. Okay, there's our little uh, strip. Let's take a look at what we got here. And let's see what we can do with them here. We'll grab a... This is a 
AK bullet, bullet that I already lubed. It's got a little lube in the lube uh, there. Basically the gas check just fits on the end of the base. This is how many you can make in a couple hours. I'm not sure how many. I think I do about 400 an hour when I get going. <clears throat> so uh, the whole assembly, I think, pays for itself fairly quickly. <clears throat>